Okay, so we just learned about the side splitter theorem in the last example. So now let's actually use it. We can apply it. Um, so in this example, what is the value of x in triangle PQR? So when I look at this picture, there's a lot going on, right? I can see here's x. Um, there's another x over there. We also have a y and a z. They're not asking us to find y and z. So hopefully we'll just be able to kind of ignore those values. Um, but let's focus on finding the value of x. So the key is this st right here is parallel to pr. So since st is parallel to pr, we can use the side splitter theorem. So what happens is each side got split. So here is one split and here's the other one. So we're gonna focus on those two segments that got split by segment st. And then in the other side, this tr and QT, we just split this whole side into those two segments. So what the side splitter theorem lets us do is, or tells us that we have a proportion we can set up. So PS over SQ, that's a P right there. So if we take one segment over the other segment from that split right there, that will be equal to the same ratio on the other side RT over TQ. And now let's just plug in the values that we know. So PS from P to S is X plus two. So we're just gonna say X plus two over SQ. So from S to Q is this whole thing right here, it's the four plus the 12, so that's a total of 16, equals, now on the other side we have RT, which is just an X, over TQ, so from T to Q. Again, we're gonna add those two segments together, and we can see that TQ is 12 units long, and now we have our proportion, and we can cross multiply and solve. So we cross multiply, 16 times x is 16x. We set that equal to the other cross product, 12 times, and I'm gonna put that in parentheses, x plus two. That's really important to understand that this 12 does get multiplied by this whole numerator. So we put that in parentheses. What that does is that forces you guys to distribute. So the 12 gets multiplied by the x and the 12 gets multiplied by the two. If we don't write that in parentheses, um, often what I see is students will take the 12 times the x and they'll just carry the plus two down, but we can see that we end up with a value of 24 when we write out all the work. All right, so solving for x, let's get our x's to the same side. I'm gonna subtract 12x from both sides. So four x equals 24. If you divide both sides by four, we get x equal to six. And what do they ask us to find? What is the value of x? Well, we just found the value of x is six. So that just leads us into the corollary to the side splitter theorem. Um, so if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, so here we have one, two, three parallel lines intersecting one transversal, two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversal are proportional. All right, so let's read that one more time. If three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversal are proportional. So in this picture, 
we have um, three parallel lines intersecting this transversal. So what we're doing is we're cutting that transversal into AB and BC. So you can see AB over BC is equal to DE over EF. So very similar to what we just saw in the triangle. That also applies to three parallel lines cut by two transversals.